Guys, made it. So did the car, truck, SUV. It's been, it's been a few days. Got back on Saturday evening and today is Thursday. And on Sunday, right when I woke up, def defrosted my power washer and just pressure washed the frame underneath because it was salty. And we don't want that. Mm -mm, not on the Toyota. All I did so far was put plates on and that's it. So we're gonna take a closer look what I what kind of a deal I got. Now remember it's a two-wheel drive. It's prob probably a killer for most of you, but not for me. I did mention that I on I'm only gonna be using this, well, as a daily obviously, but occasional towing, you know, family car, can put my dogs inside, whatever, you know. Not four-wheeling, not doing that. Never was never interested in that and never will be. And because it's to rear wheel drive I'm saving on fuel a mile per gallon and it weighs about 300 pounds less I might have talked about that maybe not I don't know all right let's take a closer look we got different tires in the front and rear you can take a little peek at the frame right there got some damage on the paint from the Sun and this the window seals are shot see this this part's missing over here this is ready to okay it's ripped i was going to say ready to rip but it is so i'm going to have to replace all the window seals you always want to look here whenever you're buying a car see if there's rust here on all cars not just forerunners inside is decent I mean it's been used it's got 135,000 now almost so we have scratches all over the interior but it's not bad <gasps> we got some salt is that salt something the, the roof racks are kind of you know matte color from the Sun Again, look at the doors on the bottom. I see no rust. Here is another peak at the frame. Is this light too too strong for this camera? There's a little bit of surface rust on top there. And these are the tires I hope are making the noise. And these are starting to rot these are old now why I think these are making noise because you may not be able to see this okay as you look at the thread you can see that this part of the thread is lower than this part it's doing the the scale thing okay and then as you go this is higher lower how higher lower and so on it's just an uneven tire okay the th thread is uneven. I actually have more threads on the inside than outside. But these are not the tires from this car. This, these were put on, I don't know, a month or two ago. So, you know, can't really tell what the suspension is doing from these tires. Brakes are decent. Let's move on. Something has been going on here. I have some kind of glue paint peeling off. Maybe the Rear glass shattered. I know there is. It's a common issue if you use your defroster. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, defry. You get a defroster, but don't use it in cold weather. You're not supposed to use it. Well, that's when you use the defroster. Something going on over here. Some kind of a glue or RTV, whatever. Maybe the the button for the hatch was falling off, and they glued it back. But we'll just ignore that, just kind of clean this off so it doesn't show. Now this thing has a painted bumper. Because this car is from an auction. And it was smashed in from the rear somewhere. But it's fixed now, we'll, we'll take a look underneath. You can kind of tell that it's... Color is slightly different. Something went on here. You can see... I'm, I'm guessing now, maybe the fuel door was replaced. 
might have been broken at one point and they sent it down the rivets here and the guy whoever was doing it they missed it so that's gonna have to be addressed cleaned off the rust and painted so it doesn't rust anymore but the door itself is looks good again these seals are shot this one just well it's right here might as well just rip them off yeah the paint is actually pretty bad on the roof here it's all it's not peeling yet but you can tell I may have to buff it and protect it somehow get some shine going same story on this mirror on this side all stock in here that's all the buttons I, I get auto LSD and none over here I did notice something here some kind of a button over here maybe an alarm maybe a remote start at some point okay screw whatever this this maybe used to have something there is some wiring here I wanted to take this off and check things out uh, that's for later let's see what's in here I did clean the engine bay just a quick pressure wash too so this is the TUZFE engine 4.7 with VVT variable valve timing and this thing is clean check it out I mean we got a five-year-old battery we got some noise up in here somewhere gotta check that out and that noise in the rear and this is nasty this fluid needs to be changed looks like the brake fluid might have been changed but uh, we may just change it again let's look at the oil same level as I left exactly half clean oil doesn't burn oil I did take it easy super easy actually when I was driving it I took drove no faster than 65 all right, I'm gonna raise it up and we'll take a look underneath the headlights could use some cleaning buffing and sanding all right before we look under under let's look around again but with the wheels up I'll show you I couldn't do any of this at a parking lot in you know thousand or eleven hundred miles away from home but we're gonna do a quick inspection uh, and what to look for if you take take a car you're looking for or buying to a mechanic okay or maybe you have a jack you come uh, to meet the guy you're buying from with a, a jack and whatever you're gonna you know raise the car up so basically every single wheel this is what you do and we have some movement side to side then up and down I don't know if you hear this or see it but there is some movement and if it is side to side and up and down it's a good chance it's the wheel bearing or wheel hub it's not making much noise really there you go I bet you it's the wheel bearing oh this is worse this is bad check this out I did not check while well, I couldn't I could have you know grab the jacks from the rear the factory one and jack all every single wheel side of the car up but yeah that's you know something we can fix but I bet you the seller knew about it <laughs> and uh, didn't mention it which is fine no movement here at all same here all right going around again take a peek at the brake pads 
Mm, looks like they they're kind of recent, maybe a year old. So good on the pads. Check out this frame. I mean, you all know I bought this just for the frame, right? Everything else is fixable. There is some surface rust, but we're gonna take care of that soon. Just probably maybe just get all four new tires. Okay, so this is a, it's not a hub. It's a press style bearing, I'm, I'm guessing, which is right behind that. And we do have the hydraulic suspension. You can see a hose going to it. That's probably still factory. Are we leaking or what? We have some oil. No, we're dry. Don't know what that is. Maybe it's just wet still. It was parked outside for a few days. And that is clean. Alright, let's see, because since we have so much play on this side, maybe we can actually see... I don't know if you're seeing this, but can you see the rim move? And nothing else like the ball joint is not moving it's just the wheel so that tells me for sure it's the bearing <clears throat> on this side at least you can see the inside pad plenty of meat left this ball joints ripped still got some original paint on the block look at this super clean oil pan no leaks this cover is rusted probably gonna paint that Take care of this frame in the front. Oh, we got a coolant leak. Aha! Check this out, so it needs a new radiator. Stuff is piling up, guys. But it is what it is. If you want a perfect car, then go to a dealer. Clean transmission pan. No leaks. And I'm just amazed by this frame so apparently this catalytic converter was stolen and the rear collision whatever it was accident that's how this car ended up at an auction and that's how those two guys that i bought it from that's how they got it and i guess uh it was a, it's a gas guzzler one guy was commuting to uh work for an hour daily and just too much money for gas and that's the reason why they get rid of it but we just found several new reasons there's something broken you can see that right in the middle of the screen something is loose there the harness something fell off look at this no rust great looking line brake lines here i mean the frame looks better here than in the front No rust on the floor. Let's go to the back. That is a nice brake line, or a brake line. Suspension hydraulic line by Yamaha. This, this is the solenoid or pump or whatever reservoir for the hydraulic suspension. I actually forgot to check on the sway bar links. Just kind of grab the sway bar and push up and down, but there is no knocking on suspension, so they're pretty good, solid. So let me, let me explain something before we go to the back. So we know this is the bearing, right? But with the play that we have here, and without someone else moving the wheel for you, you won't be able to tell exactly what it is, because we might have a little bit of play in the lower ball joint, maybe a little bit play in the upper ball joint, there may be a little play in the outer uh, tie rod, inner tie rod, okay, so sometimes, sometimes you take a, take your car or whatever to a mechanic and they fix, you know, one issue, 
and they, they will only be able to tell if there's something else after fixing the one issue. Same thing with noises. There could be several things making noise from the engine bay. You have to, you know, it's kind of an elim elimination process. You know, you, you, you got to fix one problem to find out if there is another. So uh, until someone helps me move this wheel, I will not know if there's something else that's uh, that has play. And like I said, sometimes you replace the things that have play, and then there's something else. You still have a tiny amount of play, you know, in these suspension components. I could take big pliers and squeeze on the ball joints. Okay, while the car is in the air, squeeze here and here, same on the uh, upper ball joint. And that will tell me if these are bad or not. A bit more surface rust, or is it just dirt? Well, maybe it's just dirt. Could be just dirt. Gotta pressure wash, wash this thing. Maybe even take the wheels off, wash them. Look at this, no rust here. Okay, I see. Look, this whoever did this didn't feel like straightening this this out and uh, installing a clip in it for it. Okay, we're gonna fix that. All clean over here. Oh, we got a drain plug. Nice. Plenty of pads left in the rear as well. Uh, we got we we actually do have some surface rust in the rear here. There's gonna be a lot of cleaning, guys. A lot. No play in the drive shaft. Rear shocks seem to be dryish. Yeah, that's okay. Both sides. We got a full spare. Okay, I see. They didn't feel like making a hole here, so maybe it's a different bumper from a different year. Probably just gonna leave that. What's this here? Okay, wrong, wrong bolt or cross-threaded. That's a cross-threaded screw or bolt. And no bolt here. This was bent, so yeah, nothing major. Oh look, check this out, this is bent too. Hmm. I don't know, ignore this or get a new one. What do you think? I have to fix that. So it got hit here, I'm guessing, right in this area. But the hitch seems straight. I don't know, maybe we'll address this someday. And we should have a plug. What's this? Is this loose? Oh, we do have a plug right here. Is this broken? This is broken. Huh. Okay. So that's the seven pin harness. Well, you know, <gasps> got some rust, some surface rust here, plastic fuel tank, might just take this off and just paint it on both sides, the fuel tank cover. All right guys, that's enough of that. So this is what you get. You know, it's, it's it's understandable. It's an 07, so that's what 15 years old, 135,000 miles now. Got to make a list. We already have front bearings, radiator, the hitch issue in the rear, the the seven pin plug, four new tires, at least two for now. Oh, we got to check that no the noises in the front and the rear. Window seals, which is not a biggie, nothing, you know, kind of one of the last things on the list. And the rust or the bare metal behind the fuel door, behind the fuel door. But what I'm going to do first, before I even drive it out in the Illinois salty roads, 
is I'm gonna paint the frame with chassis saver and then I'm going to spray everything and I mean everything besides hot parts of the engine with wax like like something like fluid film but with a product that's uh, that, uh, not M I was gonna say, uh, MZOIL, MZOIL made it's in cans it's it's very thin but once it goes on it turns into semi hardish well I guess I don't know medium I, I don't know yet what it's going to turn into like I mean how hard the surface is going to be but it's going to be a little bit harder than wool wax or fluid film and it's supposed to last a bit longer up to five years is what they're, what they're saying fluid film you gotta respray every one year maybe two depends where you are this stuff every four five years four years depends where you are and i'm talking i'm, I'm going to be spraying everything guys everything i'm going to this is what i'm going to do i'm going to take the wheels off first i'm going to clean the everything scratch it up well that that's for that's for next episode okay so i'm going to prepare it preparation is all if you do if you spend your time preparing it you're going to have the best outcome and i'm going to go through all the steps in uh, my next video on this car and i'm going to keep going i'm going to fix everything find out what, what noises are from the front find out what the noises are from the rear replace on the radiator maybe even uh upgrade the stereo system put some speakers in amp amp it up a little bit buff the lights bring those back i intend to keep it for a long time i tend to keep my cars i kept the bmw that i had for seven almost seven years the Subaru STI, the 06 that I have since new, so that's uh, 16 years now, you know? All right, so as always, subscribe, like, dislike, comment, just do something, but most importantly, subscribe, guys, to this small channel. Oh yeah, and we're also gonna check the timing belt, the spark plugs. We're gonna take a look inside each cylinder, see what the cylinder walls look like, you know, after 135,000 miles. Uh, we're gonna do that because I just bought me a camera, you know, that you, so we can see inside. I'm gonna take a look inside the frame too. Hopefully there's no rust inside the frame because we're gonna be spraying that wax thing inside the frame too inside doors inside the hood everywhere all right guys see you next time